Hi YouTube, Courtney Main here. So um, this is going to be a very like impromptu video, but I just had to get this out before I let another day pass. Um, I wanted to just follow up with you guys with my haircut. And it's been uh, two weeks today since I've gotten my hair cut. And I don't know if you are noticing anything slightly different about the haircut. Um, if you do notice, I ended up getting a little scissor happy. And um, I cut it a little bit more. I, I didn't do it. I got it professionally done. Um, I noticed as my cut... Like it was falling into place, you know, me doing my routine. Unfortunately, you know, I could not get my hair like they did it at Diva Sean. And um, in hindsight, I'm kind of glad because, you know, I have my own technique of how I want my hair to look. And I have been finding that um, this side of my hair, it's just been falling over to this side and kind of leaving it the short portion on this side kind of exposed more and I just found it was a little bit too long um, the back of my hair um, was a little bit too long for, for me I'm not saying that the cut was not good it was an excellent cut but as the weeks went on and I saw how my hair was falling um, I actually should have had April cut a little bit more so um, I went online and sought out some diva inspired um, stylist and I uh, found three in my area one very close to my job and um, I had the intentions of just going in and talking having a consultation letting the person kind of see how my cut look now instead of waiting three or four months later being desperate to get it cut because it's you know growing out um, I wanted to go in there with the cut the, the style of the cut really still intact and kind of talk to the stylist as far as what I'm looking to continue to maintain um, with this cut because let me tell you this cut is some upkeep so if you are thinking about getting a tapered cut um, you're gonna have to keep it up and I I don't know why I thought this was going to be kind of like a real wash and go kind of style but no I mean unfortunately when my hair is wet the cut looks a hot mess so I could never go out the house with wet hair like I have to make sure my hair is completely done before I go out the house but I mean it, it is what it is you know I'm not complaining about it I love my cut I never thought that short hair would look good on me and I am getting so many compliments on it and everyone's saying it really suits my face and, and I totally agree so um, I went into um, this salon that's at the local not strip mall but it's like a mini mall <laughs> near my job and um, met the woman she had straight hair so it all went right away I was like okay straight hair let me not be concerned about that I talked to her about um, you know the cut I was looking for what the cut I got told her I really love the cut but I did notice like the back of my hair seemed like it was a little bit too long like when I would do my hair I found myself tucking pieces in and I felt like well that's something you would do when your hair has grown out and you're not ready to get it cut so you're kind of camouflaging creating the style by tucking hair in and I just didn't feel like after two weeks I should be having to do that based on the results that I wanted so she looked at my hair she totally agreed she told me what she was look she what she would do if I was to come in and get it cut um so she sounded like she knew what she was doing she studied at Diva Sean um she said she was very familiar with cutting afro textured hair and she seemed very confident and I said well how much would it cost if you just was to do what you just said right now because just to clean it up and she was like oh I could do it for like $35 I was like uh -huh, score <laughs> so she just did a top cut I didn't get a style or anything of course she cut it dry and she just took off a little bit at the top and she cut off the she kind of evened out the side so my profile which I really really like like this was the profile that I was looking for not too much hair kind of not too heavy right here and I found my hair was it was a little bit too heavy right here so now it, it really flows better um, 
meaning, you know, short, eventually long, 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 and then really full. And I found that styling my hair, like I said, my hair has been kind of moving to the side here with this exposed. So I only had her um, touch up the side of my hair. She took a, just a tiny bit off still on the side here. And um, I told her to basically leave this side the way it is because I like how it, my hair blends in. The long hair blends in with this side. She agreed with that. Um, she touched up my edges a little bit more, just more of a natural, not too much um, precision, and I love it. I love it, and I love the fact that it's right up the street from my job. Um, it's considerably cheaper because it's it was just a top cut. She didn't style it, and I think that's what I will do. You know, once it's time for me to really get it cut, I'll just have them cut it dry. I won't even get it styled because I know how I want to style my hair. And, yeah, I'm just really, really happy with uh, the results. Um, I will be doing a wash routine because my routine has changed completely. Um, I, the, the things that I was doing when my hair was longer, I, I can't do that anymore. So I have a completely different wash routine. Um, if you guys would like to see that, thumbs up this video. And if you have any other questions, please feel free. Um... But let me just repeat again, you know, April did an excellent job with my haircut. I just think going to New York, based on how much out-of-pocket expenses that took me, um, is just not financially feasible for me so you know I felt it was just easier to find some place closer to me and the first place I went I ended up getting it cut I mean there were three salons that I had intentions of interviewing but you know, um, Taylor, who's a woman's name, she sounded very confident about what she would do and how she saw how my hair was growing. I just felt comfortable and I just got it done. And I'm really happy because it's nicely, freshly cut again before I go to Florida. And um, yeah, so I will turn around again and let you guys see. And you tell me what you think. I just like how now this all blends in. Um, there's no separation. I felt like that it was just a little bit too heavy um, up in here. And I just think um, it, it flows a little bit nicer um, as you go towards the front, if that makes sense. All right. So, um, do I have anything else to say? No, I don't think I had anything else to say. So, um, I have been trying some of the products from the Curl Kit, so I, I'll be doing some um, first impressions. Um, I just have one more product to use. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but uh, I'll do a first impressions of all those products. And again, like I said, I will share uh, my new wash routine. Um, I found also that I, you know, even though I didn't really um, sway away from the curly girl method but I definitely like have to do, go like curly girl method full on with this haircut um, you know at this point I guess I just have to really learn my hair again and learn what it can do with this style but I was anticipating oh I can do finger coils and twist outs but right now I'm just really comfortable with the whole wash and go and I've been having to redo my hair every two to three days that's been kind of a pain but I'm getting used to it because I have a whole new routine so um yeah and okay I think that's it I've made this video long enough so again you guys if you have any questions please tell me how you like um the kind of modified or updated style I, I i really like it i mean because at the end of the day if i like it that's what matters okay so but thank you guys for um all of the likes on that video i really appreciate it on instagram follow me on instagram coily main twitter coily main and um i really appreciate all of the support okay all right you guys take care bye